Breaking news overnight from the Middle East, where Israeli forces are carrying out what they call a major anti-terrorism operation, not in Gaza, but in multiple cities in the occupied West Bank. Palestinian officials say at least nine people have been killed. It comes a day after Israeli troops rescued a hostage from Gaza, a 52-year-old man whose family says he was working as a guard at a kibbutz when he was taken. MTS Tayeb has more on the rescue operation. Kaid Farhan al Qadi and Israeli soldiers were all smiles in the moments after he was rescued. The 52 year old father of 11 was reportedly found alone without guards in a Hamas tunnel 25 yards underground. He was later taken by helicopter to Israel, where doctors said he was healthy. At one point, Al Qadi's son, who'd been allowed to see him, emerged from the ward he was being treated in. We asked him how his father was doing. Thank God, he says, he's doing fine. Well, as Al Qadi's loved ones gather here, waiting to be reunited with him following his hostage ordeal in Gaza, in Cairo, negotiations for a ceasefire and hostage release agreement remain stuck. Talks which are aimed at bringing the over 100 remaining hostages still in Hamas captivity home and bringing an end to Israel's devastating assault on Gaza. Over the past five days alone, Gaza health officials say at least 275 Palestinians have been killed in Israeli strikes, including many children. Children who are also increasingly at risk of disease Aid agencies say they've recorded the first case of polio in Gaza in a quarter century. Our CBS News team traveled to the central city of Dir al-Bala, where raw sewage, a breeding ground for the polio virus, was everywhere. And it's at this makeshift tent we met Naveen Abu al-Jaydan and her nine children, including little Abdul Rahman, who at just 11 months old was the first Palestinian child to be diagnosed with polio. His mother, Devine, tells us his left leg is now paralyzed. Please, someone, have mercy on my son, she says. I wish he could move his body like before. I pray no other child gets this virus. And this morning, around 1.2 million doses of the polio vaccine have now arrived in Gaza to inoculate more than 640,000 children, with the UN appealing for a seven-day pause in fighting to vaccinate as many kids as they can, something neither Israel nor Hamas have agreed to. Michelle. A sliver of good news on that vaccine. MTS Tayeb in Tel Aviv. Thank you.